What is up, sexy beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and today we're gonna be talking about Zombies in Spaceland, and I'm gonna be giving you guys my review of it, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. So I've seen a lot of people say they either hate it or they love it. I haven't really seen any mixed reviews, and that's kind of what mine is. In all honesty, if I were to rate this a 1 through 10, 1 being like exo zombies and 10 being like your favorite zombie map, I would definitely say this is like a 5 or 6. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I feel like they could have just done such a better job. Similar to Revelations, they had so much potential, but they kind of ruined it and took it into a different direction. So I feel like Zombies in Spaceland tried to copy Treyarch Zombies way too much. I feel like they were in a boardroom meeting and they were all like, okay guys, what makes Treyarch Zombies work? And they thought that the reason Treyarch Zombies was so successful was because of the Easter eggs. So they're like, fuck it, let's just throw in a bunch of Easter eggs, who cares about anything else? I feel like that's what they try to do, was just make it more Easter egg focused and more storyline focused than it should have been. My hopes for this game was honestly just to be fun, like I wanted to come in, have some fun, maybe go to the arcade, play some games, win some tickets, buy some weird gun, go take a roller coaster ride, have some fun with that, kill some zombies. I just really wanted it to be fun and an enjoyable experience, but I feel like they actually try to make it more easter egg and storyline focused than they actually should have. And that's why I would definitely rate it like a 5 or 6 out of 10, they just had way too much potential to actually make this something really really good and honestly capable of competing with Treyarch Zombies. So now that we have that all out of the way, let's talk about things individually. First thing we'll be talking about is the map layout. So I feel like the map layout is really good. It kind of took me a couple minutes to actually figure out where everything was, but I feel like they did a really good job with the map layout. It's kind of like a full circle and it's kind of not. They do have their own little section so everyone can be in their own little section and do their own little thing. Not everyone has to be in the same area to survive. Someone can be on this side of the map, someone can be on that side of the map. And getting from one side of the map to the other isn't really that bad. You can always take some shortcuts if you want to. You can always just run straight through it. There's a lot of different ways to actually get around this map. So that's why I think they did a really good job on the map layout. It's nothing too unbearable, and it's actually pretty enjoyable in all honesty. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is the weapons. Now, the weapons really disappointed me. We'll talk about the wonder weapons here in a minute. But just like the wall weapons and box weapons in general, they aren't really that good. They're really, really underpowered. They start to poop out relatively quick. Like, I was noticing some weapons really wouldn't even do anything on round 8. And these weapons just really, really reminded me of Black Ops 1 weapons. And Black Ops 1 weapons were not that powerful whatsoever. So that's kind of the feeling I was getting from them. Now when it comes to like their looks and sounds, I really don't like the energy weapons. I just don't see why we have to use futuristic weapons in an 80s theme map. I find that slightly retarded. But when it comes to like all the other bullet weapons, there's a couple that I really do enjoy. And I like how they actually brought back some old weapons from older games, but they actually renamed them for some weird reason, I'm not sure. But I actually do like how they brought back some older weapons. But when it just comes to the weapons in general, I do think they all need to be buffed a little bit. Especially when it comes to the Brute. The boss zombie, the big guy that runs through the map and basically fucks your shit up. That guy is overpowered as fuck, or these weapons are just underpowered as fuck. It is almost impossible to take care of him really quick. Like, the thing I liked about Treyarch Zombies was there's always a way to take out the boss zombie really quick. If you wanted to take out, like, the Panzer in Revelations quick, or the Margwall in Revelations quick, just get the Thunder Gun, waste a couple shots on him, you're gonna be good. I just feel like there should be a way to take out those brutes really, really quick. Now, there actually might be a way that we just haven't found out yet, but as of now, he is a huge pain in the ass. And when it comes to the Wonder Weapons, I was really, really disappointed. I don't want to build my Wonder Weapons. I never liked doing that in Treyarch Zombies, and I really don't want to do it in Infinite Warfare Zombies because I don't want this game mode to be boring and me having to just run around the map and build shit. I want it to be fun. I just want to kill zombies and play arcade games at the same time. So I really feel like they fucked up there. They had a really good opportunity to be like, okay, if you want this wonder weapon, you gotta go to the arcade and you have to beat this arcade game or something like that. Or you have to go to the arcade and get a thousand tickets or something like that. They had so much potential to make an interesting way to get a wonder weapon, sort of revolving around the whole theme park idea, but they kind of dropped the ball on that one. And when it comes to like the whole arcade situation and tickets, I really do enjoy all that. Like the arcade is one of my favorite aspects of this map. Sometimes I'll just find myself in the arcade playing games. Now the only downside to that is zombies can still hit you. So in solo, it's literally like impossible to play any of those arcade games solo. You'll just have a zombie come up and take you right out of it. I think if you're playing solo or hell, even if you're playing with multiple people, if you're playing an arcade game, I think the zombies should like just form a line right behind you. That would be pretty cool if the zombies were like waiting their turn to play the arcade game. I just feel like if you're playing an arcade game, a zombie shouldn't hit you. That would be a really interesting aspect of this map, so that way you can actually play the arcade games. I just don't want to be injured when I'm trying to play basketball or if I'm trying to play skee ball or something to get some tickets, and a zombie comes up and hits me every time after I throw one ball. That's really annoying. So I wish if you were playing an arcade game, the zombies would like just not hit you or they would form a line or they would go do something else, just to actually make it possible to play the arcade games. But that aside, everything else about the arcade, I really do enjoy. I love how you can actually get a weapon. I love how you can actually get like a max ammo. I just love playing those arcade games in general, like the shooting one, the roller coaster one, the basketball one. They are all very, very fun. 
So next up is going to be the Fate and Fortune cards, and the only thing I have to say about this is they did a fantastic job with how these things actually work. So much better than Gobble Gum. In order to actually use them, you just gotta get a bunch of kills, basically like a specialist weapon, and then you actually get to choose which one you want to use, but after you use that one, you can't use it again until you actually pay like 5000 to refill your deck. They did an absolutely amazing job with Fate and Fortune cards. All the things that they can do, how you actually have to earn them, there's nothing I hate about it. They did such a good job with it. In all honesty, I think it's like 20 times better than Gobblegum. Alright, and the last thing we're going to be talking about is the Easter Egg and Storyline. So I really didn't care for the Easter Egg or Storyline. Like I said previously, like, I didn't want this game mode to take itself too seriously. They could have an Easter Egg, but that Easter Egg is pretty fucking hard. Like, it's up there with Garad Krovey. And I just really don't feel like doing it. I just want to have fun when I'm playing this game and not be frustrated to all hell. And the storyline, I again, haven't really been paying too much attention to it. I just really want to have fun in this game mode and not really take itself too seriously. But I feel like they're trying to take itself way more seriously than they actually should. So all in all, I feel like this game mode tried to copy Treyarch Zombies way too much. I feel like they really did have a chance at something amazing. If they would have went more with the theme park idea instead of zombies idea, they could have really had something up there with Treyarch Zombies but they just wanted to make themselves too much like Cherok Zombies and that's where they really fucked themselves. If they would've went more for the fun aspect and the more arcadey aspect with games and stuff while you're killing zombies to earn tickets to get more interesting stuff, I feel like they would've had something really interesting. Like maybe you get a thousand tickets, you get a really cool weapon. Maybe you get like 2,000 tickets, you get like a go-kart, you can drive around the map for a limited amount of time or something. They had a really, really good idea to fuse Dead Rising with Cherok Zombies but I feel like they just put way too much Treyarch Zombies into that mix. So all in all, I think the map is okay. I think the game mode is okay. They had potential, but they didn't seize on that opportunity. But I don't hate it. It's still pretty fun. I just feel like they have room for growth. So I'm very curious to know, what do you guys think about this game mode? And if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Peace. <laughs>